Last time I saw you, we packed up everything we own and put it on a boat to the other side of the planet. This time, I'm finally starting. There's only one problem. The boat still hasn't arrived and there's only three days until the mission starts. So, it's five days since the boat was meant to arrive. Where is the boat? The boat is still not in port. It's been hanging about since yesterday, 50 kilometers off the coast. That's where we're at. What's it doing there? Mate, if we climb to the top of the hill, we could see it. Maybe we should do that. Basically, folks, we've rocked up to Signal Hill in Cape Town. Right, what are we doing here? We missed the Easter egg hunt, so we're here for the Easter boat hunt. We're a, uh, bit, concerned. We're a bit concerned about the boat, aren't we? Oh, we've, we forgive them, but they've not done a particularly good job. Basically, we're a little bit concerned because, um, well, as you see, poor boat. The, the driver's a little bit short-sighted. He doesn't seem to be able to see where he's going. He's been going around in circles for ages. So the plan is, yeah, we're going to see if we can spot him and then we're just going to give them a wave. So wave them on in. But they know where they're going, you know? We can see just here that she's been dancing with us all the way in, set up anchor, and then scarp it off again. I think we need to help them. Uh, see it? Oh, no, that's a fishing vessel. That's a pleasure vessel. That's a bloke flying. Um, I'm pretty sure, if we have a look at this, mate, that that is her. Actually, that is actually her, mate. That is Anusha. You can Genuinely. tell by the way she's facing. Mate, there she is, all the way out there, headed, frankly, still in the wrong direction. <laughs> the port is that way. I'm not wearing glasses, but even I can see that that is going in the wrong fucking direction. Let's start like a smoke signal. Wave her in, mate, wave her in. <laughs> Anusha, Anusha. Anusha, excuse me, hello. We're over here. I don't think you can hear me. Anusha, my darling, fucking turn yourself around, love. Come back. We're over here. Well, I girl. Come here. Fucking hurry up. Anusha. There you go, mate. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they're turning around right now. He heard you, mate. He's he's, he's these, spinning it around, mate. These bloody boat captains will be having wins. Thanks to this heroic work, our poor boat was able to finally make it home. New ship, baby. The next day, we headed to the port to pick it up. There we go. Cheers. Oh, it looks bit. like it's in one piece as well. Is. There is a roof. Wow. Up next was the next big stumbling block, customs. South African customs are known to be some of the most corrupt officials in the world, and we are about to go head to head. Are you feeling optimistic about this coming out in one piece? Uh, whether we have to buy four new tyres or not is the, is the My man, you're right. This was it. The game was on. Would a man and a piece of paper destroy the mission once again? Nah. This guy was a fucking legend, and we had no trouble at all. So, straight up. Ah, nice. I'm gonna check your page, guys. Yeah, yeah. Watch okay. the adventure with us. For now, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanna be part, part. I wanna be yeah, part of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanna see me there. Yeah, there you go. You'll be in the video. Yeah, yeah. Firing roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I hope, I hope everything just goes nice. Your life, ne? It's a, it's, a, it's a good life, man. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Good life, yeah. I don't know what to say, but I'm saying, I'm saying a lot of words. Man, I love it. Man. I love that great yeah, work. Man, I, love great that, work. I love that energy of yours. Next, it was time to see if the van would even fit out of the box. Excited, mate? Yeah, man. Oh, so tight. Look. Hearing some noises. They're a little bit sus. All right, make it all straight. Alright, just like that, come back. Alright, slowly, Kev, slowly. I'm afraid of this roof, Kev. Alright, slowly back. Slowly back. Alright, slowly back. Oh, mate. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, I need some more white here. What do you reckon the PSI, them tyres is right now, then? Minus six. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Mate, it doesn't even feel real. It's been so long, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Fuck no. We're actually going to be on the road in like three days. It's... Yeah. It'll be soft. It'll be soft. Mate, look at that back one. It's scrunched off the bottom. Oh, that's bad. Not looking too healthy. 
Now all that was left to do was get the solar panels back on. Mate, you're like a kid at Christmas. We could have self-funded the whole mission by just filling all of these boxes with hundreds of kilos of cocaine and no one would be the wiser right now. Mate, they just waved us on. They just waved us straight through, boys. Oh, they were legends to go, weren't they? Mate, good stuff. Go crack. Meanwhile, Stan is on the struggle bus. These aren't ours. I think, I think Shredded Butter have left their tools on our van and they've survived. Jim, thank you so much, mate. It's a wonderful game. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Never a dull moment, Stan. Damn right. A tool kit. Oh, um, you think. No. You bought a tool kit with no listen, hammer. No. Don't listen to this. Listen to me. Everyone thinks that hammers are like the best tools for bashing shit. Oh, we're going back to our roots. This is caveman shit right here. It didn't work. We're not worried. Changing tyres ain't that expensive for changing boots. That's a budget we don't have. Subscribe to the menu. <laughs> you pulled this all off, by the way. Yeah. You were the one that made this happen, because I didn't have yeah. a fucking clue what I was doing. I've got to be honest with you, I didn't really have that much of a clue either. <laughs> a month and a half ago, we were, you know, head oh, in hand. Uh, we <laughs> have fucking shape-shifted. Yeah. We have morphed. And look at us. We made it out the other side. We've taken everything we own stuck it in a container and sent it across the other side of the world. And there's so many companies, shipping lines, two boats, fuck, four trucking companies, yeah. uh, two customs agencies, uh, like four customs handling agencies. And here we are, and uh, it worked. Mate. <laughs> it worked, it worked, it, it worked. Boys. We made it. We're here, Cape Town. The van, look at her, she's beautiful. She's here, we had about half a centimetre to spare. We've just put the solar panels back on the roof. We've inflated the tyres. We've loaded all our stuff back in. Now we are gonna go and buy some last little bits and pieces. The run begins in two days from now. Uh, so Russ, can you just walk me through the first fucking 24 hours of having the van? <laughs> we picked up the van, drive around, We've been the centre of attention everywhere we've been. We're basically going to start the mission without a handbrake. Handbrake is a non-essential bit of gear at this point. Been to the old mechanic. He reckons he'll sort us out when we're on the way back through Cape Town. So basically, we're going to start the mission in like four days. We'll come back here and get it fixed. But I'm, I'm happy about that. What do you reckon? Well, I'm, you're not driving, are you? Dickhead? <laughs> <laughs> and so began the handbrakeless 200 kilometre drive to scout out the southern tip of Africa for the first time the most southern tip of Africa, boys and girls. We're finally here. It's been a long journey. I remember about two or three years ago, getting Google Earth up, studying every squared centimetre of this place. And now we're finally here in real life. Man. Does it feel real? I guess so. What is real? Who even knows? I don't even know. <laughs> wow, thank you. <laughs> wow, mate, this is actually you want to run across Africa for me quickly, Russ? Oh, go on, go on, mate. You got this. Three. Fuck me, that was quicker than I expected. Fuck, man. boys, we smashed it. Am I seriously? Cheers only... for subscribing. Thanks for all the support. Um, we're next mission, pole to pole. Catch me there, 20, 2026. Couple years off, that was a fucking tough one. Oh, yeah, I mate, you feel you feel alright. Are you gonna start your run? I have to touch the water. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna run 16,000 kilometers for someone to go. Oh, but he didn't actually go to the sea. He went to the puddle next to the sea. <laughs> Hey boys, 16,000 case. Get that in the bread bin. It's day zero. Day Tomorrow zero. is the big day. Um, yes, what, what do we still have to do before we get to that point? We need to organise the van because it's a shit show. We need, to, we need to find homes for all of our things. We need to build a few shelves and shit in the van. We need to take the graphics off the van because that's baiting us out really hard right now. 
Right boys, let's fucking do it then, eh? The thing I'm sick of more than anything is talking about Project Africa without actually delivering. So that's why I'm excited, because it's time, it is time to shut up and start delivering, you know? I don't know what you feel like, but for me, it feels like this whole period leading up's been quite stressful. I always feel like this at the start of like an adventure. It's just that classic type two fun. So I think that's just exactly what this whole thing is gonna be. Now we're actually here at the most southern tip, it really like gives some scale that like this thing isn't over until I finish in Tunisia, which is like the Mediterranean. It's wild, man. It's so far away. It's almost like inconceivable, literally so far. I am just concentrating on one day at a time, you know? My job tomorrow is to run 50K and like just handle business tomorrow and then fucking we'll plan to the day after tomorrow evening. It's just the building blocks that need to go. And, and, and tomorrow I've got to lay one brick. It's not that bad. I've, I've laid one brick plenty of times. Um, and, it, and you know, the, the beautiful parts would be when Despite all of that, you can find a little bit of enjoyment in those moments, you know. We're in a fucking IV code daily, mate. Packed in like sardines, trying to figure out where all our stuff goes. It just kind of like, we're proper underdogs, man. We really are. But I love that and I think it, make, it makes it all the better when we pull through. When you wake up tomorrow, what's the feeling going to be in your head? Go time. Got to charge head first into the abyss and hope for the best. Right, I'm going. Right, see you in 38, boys. Wow, thank you. <laughs> I'll do that again then. <laughs>